looking at this is, is really one of the most exciting things to, to see in, in our world, horology. Uh, firstly, although there are four in existence, this is the first one, which is uh, Grand Sonnery, uh, Royal, uh, Turtle Shell, uh, Gilt Metal Mounted. Um, the, the others, there is one other uh, in existence that's in private hands. Uh, there are two that are in museums. So there are only two in the world, and this is the only one that is available today. The most valuable clock on the market at the moment, uh, made by the most important English clockmaker the world has ever seen. His, his clients were, so this is known as the Spanish Tompion, his clients were worldwide, even in the 17th century. Uh, Grand Sonnery, it's called a Grand Sonnery because it is designed to strike the hours and the quarter hours every 15 minutes, which is a tremendous feat of engineering. Uh, three train, triple fusee, is um, at each quarter it will strike a, a, on a nest of bells, in fact we can hear it. The bells will tell you to the nearest 15 minutes what the time is. So the first thing it will do naturally, not just pulling the cord, is to strike each quarter on a row of bells and then strike the hour, which was phenomenal. And it'll do this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At the, fr at the top of the clock, what you have are two different dials. Uh, one is quite simply to turn the strike off if you don't want it to. Uh, sound through the evening and the other one because the clock was actually designed to sit on a bracket it was very difficult to regulate the clock so this is what's known as rise and fall regulation rise and fall regulation is a system whereby most clocks you actually turn them around and you have to adjust the pendulum physically with this you don't have to do that Tompion thought of so many things and this is something he thought of as well the fact that this was designed to go on a bracket flat to the wall the only way to actually regulate it otherwise would be to take it off the wall, turn the clock around, an awful lot of fuss, it would stop, you'd have to set it by your sundial, etc. Very difficult. So he made this solution, a hand on the dial that has a system behind whereby when you move the hand, it moves the pendulum up or down to regulate accordingly. Which is, it may sound relatively simple to actually achieve that, it wasn't, it's like everything else that Tompion did. I, I really want to turn it round as well because the movement is just fantastic. What we're actually seeing on the back is flat to all, no mouldings, um, because it was designed to sit up on a bracket. The interesting thing is, when you look at the movement, everything is fully engraved. Now this is something that nobody would see apart from Tompion's workshop, the next workshop who looked after it. The client isn't seeing it because it's, it's on the wall, but it's, it's testament to all of his skills and all of his art to actually produce something whereby he spent a considerable amount of money as well on producing the engraving, which is just typical of Tompion. Everything about Tompion's work is pretty much perfect. And I often say to people, what I find interesting with Tompion is he was a man way beyond his time and I sort of consider it that he is, it's almost like he got into a time machine. He got into a time machine, he went forward 200 years and said, that's how they do it, now I'll go back and do it myself. He was doing things that other people were actually doing, were not doing, but it was almost like the Middle Ages. He was so, so far advanced. Every now and again somebody will say, but it, a Tompion is just about a name. It's not. It is so complicated. We actually we filmed uh, a Tompion movement with the pull cord to repeat. And when you look at it with the dial off and the hands off and you're just looking at the bare movement and watching this, people say to me, there's no point in you filming that because I still don't understand it. It's so incredibly complicated and it's beautiful. And Tompion's point of that was everybody else who does the pull quarter repeat gets it wrong 
and they get it wrong because the, um, the, it is reliant on how the client pulls it. Tompkins system, the trigger piece, is known as all or nothing. And they are truly the very, very best in the world. And this clock is 3.5 million pounds, which although is the most valuable clock on the market, I consider to be truly undervalued for what it is. Uh, the greatest clockmaker that ever lived, uh, royal, one of two in the world, and the only one that can be purchased.